Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a lithophane nightlight. I'll have an instructable to go along with this video that will have very detailed step-by-step -step instructions. For the video portion, I'm just going to run through it pretty quickly. You're going to need a 3D modeling software. My software of choice is SketchUp, but you can use any of them. You're also going to need an application called Cura. It's a slicing software put out by Ultimaker. I will be using Cura version 2.5. For this demonstration, I'll be using this picture of R2-D2 and C-3PO. Open a web browser and go to this website. Now you want to upload your image and then you want to adjust some settings. For image settings, we want it to be a positive image, so the darker areas end up being thicker. So we'll change that setting. I leave the rest of these on their default. For the model settings, I'm going to go with a maximum size of 80. And this is 80 millimeters. This will limit the height of a portrait mode image. I keep my thickness at 3. You can play around with this if you want. I'm going to not use a border but this is something that you could choose to do. And I'm going to leave my thinnest layer at 0.8 millimeters. I use a 0.4 millimeter nozzle on my printer, so this equates to two, two thicknesses. And I'm going to adjust the vectors per pixel up to 5. And for the curve, I'm going to set this to 180 degrees. Now we'll go up and click on the model tab and I want to select outer curve and click the refresh button. Now you can see that my model is created and I'm just going to download it. Now to find out how big your model ended up being, you'll need to open it in a slicing software. So here in Cura, I open the 3D model that I downloaded. And you can see down here the dimensions. It's 47 millimeters on the X axis, 24 millimeters on the Y axis, and then 80 millimeters tall. So those are the dimensions that I'll need to use to create a base that will slide over a nightlight. Open your 3D modeling software, and now we're going to draw a base. Because I'm using SketchUp, I will be using, telling you steps on how to draw it in SketchUp. Your 3D modeling software may differ a little bit. So I know that my width is 47, so I'm going to drag a little tape measure line out, 47 divided by 2, which ends up being 23 and a half. I'll do the same thing over here. And the whole reason I'm doing this is just to keep it centered around this origin point. I know my y-axis was 24, so half is 12. Now, I know if I drew a curve, to that radius, it would match up pretty close to my model, to my lithophane model. But I do want to reduce the radius just a tad. I'm going to offset it one and a half millimeters. And instead of drawing a arc, I'm going to draw a circle. Just flatten off the back of this circle and erase what's left. Now to draw the section that clips around the light, I know that that is 17.4 millimeters wide. So again, divide that in half, that's 8.7 millimeters to one side of center, 8.7 to the other. And the front of the curve of that piece would be like a D-shaped cutout. 
I want it one and a half millimeters back from the front edge of this. So to set my center point, I'm going to go 8.7 millimeters back. And that's really close. Um, I'm just going to use the center point of the origin for this. So again, do an 8.7 millimeter radius circle. And then from this intersection here, I'm just going to draw straight down the green axis. Now with SketchUp, you got to watch. It'll try to snap over. And that won't be a completely parallel line with the other side. So I like to draw past my line and then erase what's left. Now I know that this piece needs to be 1.6 millimeters thick, so I'm going to extrude it up 1.6 millimeters. And this would be pretty well good to go. Um, if you want to make it a little easier to slide on, you can put a slight chamfer on this front edge. say five millimeters. So five millimeters here. Connect those two. All right, so we've got our base section and I'm just going to highlight that and choose export STL and I want to leave it on model units and export selected geometry only and export it and I'll just call this base all right back in your slicing software you've got your model loaded now we want to load our base And by default, you will see that the models, you can't overlap them. It will move them out of the way of each other. But there's a setting if you go into preferences, and this setting is available, I believe, back to as early as version 2.3 of Kira. But it's right here in the general preferences. Ensure models are kept apart. Uncheck that. And then close. And now you can drag the models over the top of one another. Position yourself underneath, and you can grab the arrows to make sure you're dragging straight back, straight forward. Make sure it's not sticking out the front at all. But that's it. Now you can set all your parameters for your 3d printer and slice it and send it to your printer and that's it these are really fun and easy to make make great gifts if you have any questions or comments be sure to leave them down below also check out the instructable i'll leave a link below and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you next time